So if you're a big Spider-Man fan, I'm assuming you've seen Far From Home already, but if not, this video does contain major spoilers for that film, so just be aware of that if you choose to continue watching. For all of you huge fans that have seen the movie already, no doubt you noticed Numenakar's character, who Nick Fury refers to as Dimitri, or as readers of the comics know him, the Chameleon, one of Spider-Man's deadliest enemies. And he also happens to be the half-brother of Kraven the Hunter, which we'll dig into a a little bit later, but for now, back to the Chameleon. In case you don't know anything about the character, let me briefly explain. Chameleon is a master of disguise, originally only able to look like others using his superior skill with makeup and costumes, but later begins to use gases and hologram tech to look identical to his targets. Eventually, Chameleon's ability evolves and his skin is surgically modified and his DNA is mutated by a serum so that he can take on the appearance of any person at will. He also wears a fabric made of a memory material that can appear to be whatever outfit that he wishes to wear. In this film, he is introduced as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who is tasked with ensuring Peter's class makes it from Venice to Prague and that Peter receives his new Night Monkey suit, also known as the S.H.I.E.L.D. Stealth Suit. While Dimitri doesn't do much in the film, much to the chagrin of hundreds of YouTube channels and publications that were spouting that he was definitely the secret villain the entire time, his connection to S.H.I.E.L.D. and this Nick Fury is very interesting. So during the second post credit scene, we find out that throughout the film, the character of Nick Fury was actually the Skrull Talos from Captain Marvel, posing as Nick Fury to give the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. a much needed vacation. And during Nick Fury's vacation, a ton of stuff happens that Talos really wasn't prepared for. He was kind of just there to pass on the glasses to Peter and then just chill out while Nick Fury was on vacation. So he's not able to measure up to Nick Fury in terms of his awareness of the world around him. After all, consider the fact that Talos allows himself to be conned by Quentin Beck from the start. So it's safe to say that some of the other people in this new S.H.I.E.L.D. crew might not be who they say they are. This brings me back to Chameleon. It's possible that Chameleon was able to infiltrate this group while the real Nick Fury was on vacation. But how was he able to infiltrate a master race of, well, infiltrators? There are multiple approaches the MCU could have taken here. Maybe Chameleon is a Skrull as well, or he's some sort of Skrull human hybrid like Captain Marvel is a Kree human hybrid. Or Chameleon's ability to shapeshift and disguise himself is so good that not even the Skrulls could detect that he wasn't who he said he was. But what was he doing here? One of our theories is that he infiltrated this mission to get closer to Spider-Man for the purposes of the Sinister Six, which would make a lot of sense, but we're gonna make an entire video about that. But our other theory seems to make much more sense within the context of the comic books and how we think this series is going to continue, that being the Spider-Man series of films within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. As I mentioned earlier, Chameleon is Kraven's half-brother, and in the comics, he's the one who convinces Kraven, the legendary hunter, to hunt down Spider-Man. Originally, Kraven hunted Spider-Man as a way to challenge himself, so Chameleon could be working with, or even for his brother, to find out if Spider-Man really is a worthy prize to be hunted down as Kraven's greatest trophy. But as we know, some things changed for Spider-Man since the last time Dimitri saw him, or at least the last time we saw Dimitri seeing him. He could have, you know, been some random old lady on the street. But anyway, Spider-Man is essentially unmasked by Mysterio via a video leak to the Daily Bugle, which paints Spider-Man as the true mastermind behind the devastation and chaos caused in London. Chameleon and Kraven's new motivation may to be take down the false hero Spider-Man and usurp him in his own role, similar to the events of Kraven's last hunt. Now, you might be thinking, uh, Garrick, Sony is already making a Kraven movie. And yeah, yeah, I know that. We actually have some videos 
up about that very topic, and I hear you. However, recently Kevin Feige, the head of Marvel Studios, said that it is likely that Sony would want to merge Venom into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and if that's the case, then a Kraven solo film establishing him as a real threat like they did with Venom would just enhance his appearance in the third Spider-Man film. As long as, you know, Sony doesn't screw it up completely, which they probably will. Or we could all get lucky and maybe Sony and the MCU will partner up and Sony will continue to let Marvel take creative control of all of these characters. Then Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios can determine how to best introduce Kraven. Regardless, Kraven's solo movie may not have any effect on whether or not he makes it into the third Spider-Man film. So that's all I've got for you guys today. What do you think? Do you think Chameleon and Kraven are going to be the next Spider-Man villains, or do you think it could be something more expansive like the Sinister Six? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you thought of Spider-Man Far From Home. Remember to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Of course, it does really, really help us out. Also, be sure to follow us on all the social media that you see on screen. Be sure to join our Discord. The link for that is down in the description. If you want to support the channel directly, you can become a member. The link to do that is also down in the description. And with that being said, remember the motto, it's Craven over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.